Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So the last place that we left the tailstock was completely disassembled. It's been cleaned up and now uh, uh, it's time to put it back together. Recall that the only problem that I really found uh, with mine um, was a bent set over screw. So I've replaced those. I bought two new um, 5 16 18 by two and a quarter inch set screws for set over screws. So hopefully that uh that'll work just fine we'll see uh they do sell them longer all right so the first thing that i uh, want to do here is uh you know just make sure everything is well lubed i'm gonna take some whey oil here and and rub it into the ways and i want to put a little bit here on the bottom of the tail stock here okay now this part's probably um, the hardest part to do uh, get this in and adjust it but we're going to muddle through it and see what happens here okay so first of all one thing that i want to point on point out about the gib is uh the gib has some tapers on the very edges i don't know if they'll pick up but they're slightly tapered on the edges those will go to the inside uh, of the tailstock and the tapered uh, screws, the, the taper part of those will ride on that so it'll allow, you know, finer adjustment. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gib up here and put these two retainer screws in. Now obviously you can't tighten these screws down too tight uh, or you won't be able to adjust the gib. So I think it's going to be a little bit of a give and take. So uh, I want to try to kind of centralize the, the gib there. And then I'm just going to tighten these enough to hold it down um, against the casting and but still you know be loose enough so that the gib adjusting screw can push it out so next we're going to take this and turn it over now the back of the casting you recall has a little should have a little line back here indicating when it's center or close to center and then you see that it just slides right in there so now at this point we're going to take our two gib adjusting screws and I'm just going to thread these in by hand. Until I start feeling a little bit of tension on my you know with my finger screwing them in. Now what we what we're after here is to Tighten these screws in enough to make sure that there's no play. And if I really pull and twist on that, I can feel just a little bit of play. But now if we get them too tight, we'll seize it up uh, to the bed. So I'm just going to come over here and start on one side here and screw this in just a little bit. Maybe if I can find the slot. All right. I still have a little, I can still feel a little bit of play there. That's what we want to try to take out is the play. So I'm just going to give that just a little bit more of a turn. And I don't feel any play there. So I'm just going to give it just a itsy bit more. Still sliding pretty good on this end. Not really feeling any play. So now I want to, but the screw's quite loose. So I'm going to just tighten this in. I'm going to make sure that I got good, even sliding motion there. I don't feel any play. I guess I could put a gauge on there, but how I'm going to do this is I just want a good feel to it. So I'm just going to touch these screws just a tad tighter. And I like that. I like how that feels. There's no perceptible play when I move it. Um, besides... Uh, I tell you what, I think I'm just going to go just a little bit more. Okay, yeah, I think that's about as tight as I want to go. No play. That feels good. So now to tighten the screw, I'm going to slide this back off the end of the tailstock until I can get my screwdriver on the screw at the bottom. And hopefully I don't get my head in the way here. And I'm going to tighten that up. Okay. That feels pretty good. Alright. So now I'm just going to slide the tailstock off. 
while holding pressure on the gib up against the up against the gib screws I'm just going to tighten these down okay all right so those have been tightened down now I'm gonna <clears throat> Just double check that it still feels good, and it does. So I'm I feel good about that. All right. So uh, the next thing to do is the top of the tail stock. We just down here, so maybe it's a little bit better in the view. Again, I want to oil these sliding surfaces really good because uh, they won't see daylight again for a long time. I just want to make sure that they're good and oiled. Oiled. And again, I'm using my whey oil there, or actually it's bar and chain oil, but I think uh, it will do the job just fine. And then we're going to bring the tailstock on top of it, and I'm just going to look over here and sort of kind of get those lines roughly aligned there in the back for the, for the set over. And then I'm going to install my set over screws. Good. Water in there. Just all the one on the other side. And I should be able to run these up until I feel them touch the uh, casting. Alright, that felt like that one hit. And that one felt like that one hit. So, you know, by lining these lines up, you know, you're you're not um, you're not necessarily lined up with the uh, spindle of the headstock. It's going to take a test bar uh, to do that. So, uh, but for now, that's that's good enough until uh, I devise a test bar when we start cutting, and and then I can actually true the uh, the tailstock in. Still feels good. Okay. So the next bit that I'm going to add is the clamp. Clamp is just a just a bolt and a washer. Cast iron clamp. And I'm going to slide the tailstock off. Slide the clamp through the through the base of the tailstock. <clears throat> and then on top, if you can see that, just going to drop the washer and I'm going to start the nut. Alright, so with that in place, let's get the tailstock back on the bed. Ah, there we go. Alright, so this could be tightened up and we should be should be in good good shape. All right, we can test that with the uh, tailstock wrench, which I have somewhere right here. All right, so eh, it ain't going anywhere. Okay, guys, I know that wasn't a real great camera angle, so let me reposition the camera and let's uh, let's continue putting this tailstock together. So I'll catch you in just a minute. Okay guys, I've changed the position of the camera, so hopefully um, this will work out alright. I'm, uh, I'm just going to snug down the uh, tailstock just because I don't want it to move out of frame. Um, me tugging and pulling around. So the first thing I want to do is I want to replace the uh, end piece. Let me uh, flip around here. I want to replace the uh, end piece that goes into the back of the barrel here. and. Uh, Mine has got a few, uh, uh, looks like pipe wrench marks on it, but I, I did uh, try to remove that as carefully as I could. And uh, I'm going to get a little 20 weight oil here, like so, and thread it in. Oh, something else I want to point out. Remember I told you that up here at the top, there's an oil hole, 
and there's an oil hole here and you know I don't think that they'll line up just like uh, they won't line up on the um, on the uh, cross slide right but I don't think it's really much of a worry because this is undercut the oil should roll around and at least get some sort of oil to the screw so we're gonna go ahead and put that in okay and then to tighten it I know this is a huge no-no um, I'm gonna take this piece of 80 grit doubled up uh, paper here I'm just going to wrap around the lip of that and I'm going to grab it with my channel locks as gingerly as I can. And tighten that up and I just snugged it up real good. So it's not something to keep it from, you know, backing out on its own. So, next, I'm going to uh, oil the lead screw. Some oil on that, the threads. I'm going to get it in here. And you know what? I may have to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, take the tailstock ram and I'm going to go ahead and oil it real good. And I'm going to start to screw in here. And the reason why is because I can't reach the uh, I can't reach the uh, back of the watch call it there without it. Okay, so the uh, feed screw is in position. Okay, we can go ahead and put it together. Should be a small Woodruff key right here. All right. And then we have a handle. Of course, I think that's one of the projects I'll have to make. I'm missing the handle on mine. So we'll get that up there in position. And then there are two nuts. And we can adjust the in play with one and then lock it down with the other one. Okay. So, all right. All right. All right. So, next. I'm going to put in the quill lock and uh, <laughs> Chris told me what this was called, his actual name of it, I forget. So that's uh, just being an old man, I guess. Alright, so the uh, I'm, going to <clears throat> I'm going to bring in the bottom half through the hole with the with the bolt and get uh, you know what that's not going to work okay that's kind of what I thought all right so we're gonna I'm gonna remove the quill it's kind of a learn as I go thing fellas all right I'm gonna remove the quill I can push the quill lock down from the top and then of course the top piece in and there's a washer and finally the lock itself all right so now I'm just filling in here and making sure that those are lined up to allow my quill to come in OK. 
Okay, I tell you what. It's going to be a little more obstinate than I thought. So, with the top one in place, I'm just going to take a and push the bottom quill lock down so that I can get the uh, the screw started. Okay, it started. Now I can put the finish putting this together and the washer. And of course, the lock. All right. Of course, now see the quill spinning because I haven't got the uh, the set screw in. So hopefully we're still in frame here. In the front, um, the set screw goes. You see it? There's a. I've turned a small dog point on that. So I'm just gonna get this up here. Thread that in. Make sure my bore of the uh, groove in the bottom of my quill is there. All right, it's feeling good. It's not spinning. All right, and then I can lock the lock nut down. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it. That the tailstocks together. Um, the uh, hardest part about it, let's see, let's check our quill lock here. Yep, that's locked. Okay. Uh, I think I have my watch call it too tight here. So you're just going to have to do some fine adjustments. <laughs> My hands are so oily, I can't grip the wheel. Uh, mine's a little stiff. Ah, oh, I know why. The uh, the nut tightened up. I didn't really adjust and lock these. I still got something going on here. So I'm going to have to look. That's what it was. Okay, so my nuts had uh, tightened up and took all the end play on the shaft, and then I had my uh, little dog point set screw over here in the bottom, which go goes in the groove of the uh, of the uh, quill. I had it. I had it over tightened. So, and then uh, we are in fact locked. So life is good. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, of course, you know you're going to have to do some fine adjustments. Uh, but you got a good idea how it goes together. Uh, not too complicated. Probably the one of the simpler uh, bits of the lathe, really, uh, compared to some other stuff. So, of course, off camera, I will uh, I'll make uh, the adjustments here, and just so that I'm, I like the way that things are sliding and fitting uh, and going together, and uh, and and go from there. So. Um, I think next uh, will be, I'll finish up the quick change tool post. Uh, I need to make a spacer for the top of it, a piece of packing to go between my, uh, my uh, compound slide and the, and the quick change tool post block itself. And I need to, need to do that because I don't really want to modify the casting. You know, most people, I think, uh, machine off a, an area of the top of the cross slide uh, for the block to fit. So I think I'm just going to leave that as it is. And uh, hopefully, uh, with that, uh, you'll see the new parts that uh, that uh, Mr. Cox sent to me installed, and we'll go from there. So if you have any questions, um, please feel free to email me or or comment down below. And it, look, if these um, videos have been helpful to you, or you know somebody that can, uh, you know, that may be able to help just to see the stuff apart. Um, share the video with them. Um, if you like the video, click like, and, and uh, if you want to, uh, 
uh, subscribe and you can be notified when, when the next video comes out. So other than that, um, we're getting real close. We're getting real close. So I'll bid you adieu and have a blessed day.